Y'all, uh, it is your boy Darius. I'm back with another brand new episode of Who Won This Battle. So we're gonna go back to the 90s, man. So if y'all see the title picture, this one says B Rail versus Ice Cube. Who won this battle? So if you guys seen the previous episodes, y'all already know how I do it. We start off, how did the beat start at 22? And I react to their diss tracks. And then towards the end of the video, I voice my opinion who I think won this beat completely. So sit back, relax, y'all. Let's get this thing going. So the B started in 1995. So what sparked it, uh, B and Ice Cube were good close friends. Because Ice Cube was a fan of Cypress Hill. So Cypress Hill was an up and coming rapper. And it was group Cypress Hill. Um, Ice Cube uh, was working on the movie Friday. And Ice Cube was going to work for the soundtrack of the movie. And B-Roll spoke about this in an interview that he was originally supposed to be in that movie, though. But his manager bought the date, tour dates for him and started giving uh, music for the soundtrack. And Q ended up taking one of their hooks from one of the songs for the song Friday. So check out what he said in this interview. Oh, hell yeah, let's do it. So we played them like three, four songs. The last song we played them was Throw Your Set in the Air, which was set to be our single. And he really liked that song. And he was like, hey man, what are you guys going to do with that song? Let me have that song for the movie. And if we had thought about it more clearly back then, thinking back, we should have gave him the song. Not give it to him to record, but give it to him give it to him like he asked because he, he liked the song so much he probably would have made that a single but we you know sony felt strongly about us putting that out as our single so you know we told him ah man you know we'd like to give it to you but fuck this is this is going to be our lead single and uh he was like oh man yeah i understand can you play it one more time <laughs> and we played it one more time and and um we we took off on tour a number of months later and our homies were calling us you know from you know from home letting us know that uh you know asking us actually if uh if we had given that throw your set song to ice cube we we're like no nah, we didn't give them that song what are you talking about and they're, they're like well we just heard it on the radio and we're like how could he how could you just hear it on the radio we haven't even turned this fucking record you know it's not out yet for anybody to hear and he was like, nah, man, he recorded the song. And, you know, we, you know, we were confused. So when we got home, I finally heard the song and it was not the same subject matter. You know, he didn't, he didn't write about what we wrote about. He wrote about something completely different. But what the chorus was, was a variation of what our chorus was. Our shit was throw your set in the air, wave it around like you just don't care. Where his cor chorus was... Oh yeah, throw your neighborhood in the air like you don't care. And we already knew that was that was fucking our chorus when we heard that shit. So a little a, a couple things happened and then eventually, you know, it all just snowballed into the beef, you know what I mean? We felt like he wasn't being genuine with us when 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 we talked about it. And then there was the reaction when y'all when y'all talked to him about it. Well, the reaction initially was, you know, Send Dog and Mugs went on the radio and dissed the fuck out of him. You know, they were like, oh, man, he's a biter and blah, 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 and this and that. And once again, after that, we went on tour. We were, fuck, where were we? Um, actually, no, he was on tour this time. We were recording an album, but they had went in to talk to Big Boy or the Baker Boys or something on Power 106. And Muggs and Send Dog called him out on, on the bite. And, you know, I got a call at 3 in the morning from Cube. He was in South Africa. And he hit me up. He goes, hey, man, you know, um, uh, you guys, I heard you guys were, were popping shit. I said, well, you know, the guys feel like you stole our shit, man, you know, and, and this was the reaction. He goes, man, I, you know, I wouldn't steal from my friends, man. I, I mean, I love you guys, man. You know, I, I'm a big fan of you guys. I love you guys. I wouldn't steal from my friends. And I said, I, you know, I understand. You know, it's all good. And he's like, you know, shit like this happens in hip hop. You know, you know, people come up with similar choruses and, you know, I, I don't know what to say, but I didn't steal it from y'all. I'm like, all right, cool. Let me talk to the other homies and try to square this away because I wanted to believe them. 
I mean, this is one of my favorite rappers. This is one of my fucking homies. This is somebody that, you know, I looked at as, you know, the guy to inspire me to make me a better rapper here on the West Coast. He was like the best out here, you know what I'm saying? So it, it was hard for me to like deal with that. So, you know, there was a situation where he came down where he asked me to come down to a studio even after all this shit because Muggs and Sen weren't really buying into it. And to me, I, I I was like, you know, I got caught in, in it because he was like, I was closer to him than they were, you know what I'm saying? And uh, so I went down and he was working on a project called Caution. And there was a couple lines in there that he wanted me to, to come say. He didn't want to sample them because, you know, Sony was trying to charge too much for a Cypress Hill sample on that song. So he asked me to come down to say a couple words. So as I'm saying these words, there's a part in, in the caution verse where there was words from Throw Your Scent in the Air that we created. Nobody had used them yet on any records like Los Scandalous, California, and little terminology within that Throw Your Set song that eventually got out there. He took those words and put them in the caution song. And after he had just said that he didn't bite our shit. So when I heard those words, I was like, man, he fucking straight lied to my face. You know, I was like, because if he hadn't bit us, why are these words in there? And I must have made some sort of expression or something. And, you know, that and I had to go make a phone call to my manager after that. They had called me while I was while I was doing the shit. So I walked out of the room and I came back to redo it. I said, hey, let me get that back one time. I could do it better. As I'm listening down on the verse now, those words are no longer in the fucking song. He had, the, the engineer had muted those fucking phrases out of the song because I think he figured that I recognized them. So at that point, I was like, all right, you know, I, I couldn't I couldn't believe that it was a coincidence at that point, because here are our fucking words that. So, yeah, so after that came out, um, B. Rail felt some type of way that because he lied them to his face. But I see you did an interview with the Breast Cup interview when DJ Envy asked him about it, about the beat between him and B-Rail, but he basically said that that wasn't true. He didn't take one, one of their hooks. So go check out what he said that. And, and was that any of that stuff true? Well, you know, we did have a beef. Uh, they, they thought I stole a hook, mm -hmm. you know, uh, but it wasn't true. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I got nothing but love for, for B-Rail and Cypress Hill. We squashed all that. I yeah. had a. So yeah, so as that did, um, eventually came a problem for B Rail, and B Rail ended up taking B Rail and his group Cypress Hill ended up taking a diss track towards Ice Cube, because Ice Cube was uh, doing a movie, uh, Dangerous Ground, in 1997. So we're gonna react to that diss track right now. All right, so now we're gonna check out the diss tracks now. So we're gonna start with Cypress Hill diss track, uh, No Rest for the Wicked, uh, Ice Cube did. So what you got Cypress Hill saying this? Let's get it. Bitch ass motherfucker. Peter Pie ass nigga. Stand on your own two feet, bitch. How the fuck you gonna bite somebody else's dick, nigga? Yours ain't long enough to put in your mouth. Huh? What's up with that shit? Mugs. Make it real. Okay, he said Doughboy run down the hill. So he's referring to the, the Ice Cube's role in Doughboy from Boys of Hood. Okay. Okay, so they're referring to, like I said earlier in the video, um, Ice Cube stole, I guess he stole a hook for the song Friday from Cypress Hill. So, yeah.
Okay, that was a good dish right though. I can never sell that one. So Westside Connection got involved. Uh, they respond back with cross them, them out, put an X. So let's check out what they say, man. <laughs> The mad chicken hawk with the dirty lick style. Been pulling two elevens ever since Ted Al. It's ten million ways to die. Choosing Mac and hit the loop and lose it. Want this gang bang music. Start a water, got the room stuck. I smoke and make dope like Trump. Cooking powder to the chunk, huh? Straight off dust. Nigga, trust our bus. And cross them out and put a K if they ain't down with us. It's off the hook, nigga. I'm a West Side crook, nigga. Put 30 motherfucking dollars on my books, nigga. I'm not an MC. I'm not a G. I mean, I'm and everything in between rappers like gang banging. Cause I'm in it to the bullets and my hood ain't never dodging bullets. It's all about the bloods and crits, dogs and rips, toners and dips, bitches and chips, nigga. No, 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 what's this? My friend got the radar system, the decks bust the B.I. ditches on the premises. Niggas be dissing on the down low. So now my motto is fuck every rapper from the east and the west coast. New school, old school, I hate you motherfuckers. I'm steady plotting, fucking my ass with your out covers. Cross them out, I put a cake. No Sunday, nigga, the motherfucking holidays. Hey, I cross the line and put a K. Ego word. Nigga, the South Central LA. Hey, I cross the line and put a K. Ego word. Nigga, the South Central LA. Hey, I cross the line and put a K. Ego word. Nigga, the South Central LA. Hey, I cross the line and put a K. Ego word. Nigga, the South Central LA. Goddamn, nigga, this shit make me sick. All these West Coast cowards riding New York. Get sprayed wearing high top fades And Kane goes backwards with dark ass shades No switch blades Nigga we shoot, that's how it is on the west When you're true to your roots So kill the accent punk, hoochie bitches clown Nigga get your sag on and keep your pants legs down Check it, oh shit your mouth and get naked I'm connected and ain't no bitches singing on this record No foreign beat tracks, just niggas on wax Kicking facts, with these gang bang rats Every nigga in the industry wanna rap from my hood, nigga. I don't even like your shit. I don't like your core. I'm true. You true. Nigga, fuck you. Nigga, get on. This shit is whack. Fuck that. I bust you in a can with a motherfucking bubble jack. Spit on your shit on you when I get on your piss on you. Going up and you're fucking you. Cause I ain't nothing none of you. And even female rappers are getting smacked. Stabbed in the titties and kicked in the back. Cause I'm a West Side Connection hister. Born from a love addition of the buffoonists and dirty rubbers. Hey, I cross them out. Go! 
Yo, what? Nigga, to South Central LA. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Stick to them dicks and balls you used to. Punk ass motherfucker. Wow, oh, that was hard though, man. That was nice though. So now we're gonna check out King of the Hill. So let's check out what they're saying now. Oh yeah. It ain't over, motherfuckers. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Every few years, <laughs> niggas got to get their motherfucking cats peeled back. <laughs> nigga, this West Side, nigga. Don't think, nigga, don't think. <laughs> now, next motherfuckers go by the name of Cypress Hill. Okay, all motherfucking day. Every few years, niggas think they can deal with the real. Now I got the fuck Cypress Hill. I got a boy shoot shit fear. I drink a beer, bust a rapping in your fucking career. You fucking cowards, never seen a hood high powered like the West Side. That shit was hard, man. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. That was hard, man. All right, so let's take a Ice Cube Killer by Cyber Seal. Give me that beat, bitch. We are at war. Ding, ding. 
king, motherfucker. It's round two. I got my lunch and my dinner, fool. Who think we gonna bow down to some punk ass niggas? We from the evil side, boy. Go boy. Okay, you said you tried to remake in the way without Dre and Ren. Mmm, that's interesting. Can you really see my machine gun tablets? Open and name that your fat little frame. How can I miss a twist your cap and take your name? Analyze it. My name should be Mac 11. I'm a higher caliber MC. There's no question. Anytime you want to run up, you get dealt with. You get melted. Check yourself. Check. Ice Cube, you better tell them. Mugs made your best songs on your third album. B.I. You and Wack can't deal with this. Cypress here to the motherfucking bullet. Fuck y'all. So what y'all wanna do? Bring it on, nigga. This is Shag, nigga, from the label of family. Mac 10 is a bitch sucking ice cubes dick. But what you faggots know about some gangster shit? Let's take it to the streets and fight like real G's. What you niggas wanna do? You can't fuck with these. Ain't never had a strap. Now you want a gangster rap. Can't come to your hood. Cause it's got to get jacked. Fuck peace. This is war. Everybody on the floor. When I see your fat ass, I'm taking one to your jaw. Fuck you. Fuck your mama. Fuck your whole clique. Touch with your mama. Stop the bella, swinging off my nuts, you killer. Break yourself, nigga. Huh, get the liquor. You ain't a killer, you a buster. Motherfucker, bitch made niggas, I never trust ya. Hoes like you can't figure out where you from. Are you from South Central, the West Side, or Compton? Mac 10, the only thing you hogging on is ice cube nuts. Now we saw all in your guts. You wanna be like him, but you got no skills. If he's the king, you must be the queen of the hill. I shake the cube's yeah. fat neck. And the bitch don't get no respect, no doubt. West side connection means ice cubes sticking his dick in my kid's mouth. Ah. All of y'all homies off down with my click. Why you always gotta be biting my shit? And you don't know one bitch on my dick, but yours is best. Get a blood test for your kid. Only banging you done was with toy figures. Your mama wouldn't let you hang with real G niggas. Bring your click on. You wanna scratch, so let's get it on. Wow. 
Wow, man. That was something, man. Wow. So, yeah. So, after, after some people reached that diss track, uh, nothing was said after that. Ice Cube pretty much went his separate ways. And there were rumors that one of Cypress Hill's homies robbed Ice Cube for his check. So, I don't know if that's true or not. So, that's what I heard, though. So, eventually, they squashed the beef. It's all history buds. They're cool together. They've been on tour. They did a couple songs together. Now let's get to the opinions of who I think won this beef. Now for the battle, who I think won, I would have to give it to Ice Cube, man. Now the way the beef started though, it was over the song. Um, it was a hook when Ice Cube took the song, his song Friday, with Dory set in the air. So when I listened to it, I don't know. I kind of want to say did he stole it or not, but. I don't know. I can't really judge that. I'll let y'all judge that for yourself. But I just wish Ice Cube would came to be able to say, "Yo, can I use this hook for the song?" That would have been the better, better approach. Said taking it their hooks. So I'll let y'all decide that. But King the Hill, man, that song was hard though, man. I get we gotta get that. I gotta give Ice Cube props for that though, cause that was hard though. Uh, Cyber Hill, No Wicked. That song was hard as well. So I love both of those diss tracks. So both went hard though. But I just had to give it to Ice Cube though. Cause I'll say it was a split, but I had to give it to Ice Cube. King Hill is one of my favorite diss tracks of all time though. So, so yeah. So that's it for this episode, guys. Hit the comment below, guys. I want to know who you think won this beef. Uh, what beef we're visiting when we do next? Uh, make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.